To the casual observer, it's just another sign at the University of Miami. Henry Fillmore Museum, inquire upstairs. Located on the second floor of the school's band hall, the Fillmore Museum is a collection of memorabilia of the man known as the Miami March King. Fillmore was a contemporary of John Philip Sousa, one of the foremost composers of American music. Fillmore was described as the second Sousa because of his spirited marches and flair for musical showmanship. Born in 1881, Henry Fillmore was the son of a church gospel composer. In 1936, he moved to Miami for his health and immediately adopted all South Florida school and college bands as his own. In fact, for the fee of one dollar a year, Henry Fillmore became the permanent guest conductor of the University of Miami Band and became known as Uncle Henry to all his students. Henry Fillmore loved people, he loved to have a good time, and he enjoyed working with young people. When he came to Florida after his professional band times, he attached himself to a number of school bands, one of whom was the University of Miami Band, and he was very active with these people, not only just with their music, but socially, and he really was sort of a counselor to them, kind of like a father. The music of Henry Fillmore is expected to become more popular during this bicentennial year as American composers gained in prominence. But for the musicians who played in Henry Fillmore's many bands until his death in 1956, the man remains best known as Uncle Henry, a person who enjoyed life and music. Sunshine, Channel 4 News.